Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing good. Uh, welcome back to the channel and happy new year to all of you. Hope you all have a great 2025. Today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple roadmap, right, for 2025 that you can follow in order to try and get your first data analyst job or switch your field from some other field to a data analyst field. Okay, we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to give you some simple resources that you can follow so that you can start planning your journey over the coming months. So first of all, we need to learn some skills, right? To become a data analyst, obviously, you need some technical skills, at least, at least the basics and intermediate. So you need to start with that, right? So first up, you have Excel, right? So for the sake of Excel, I have my own uh, playlist as well, like you can go through like the basics, like conditional formatting, sum if, count if, string functions like left mid, uh, what is index match, uh, and some calculations, concatenation, logical functions, and so on, right? Get comfortable with the basics and try to do some projects, right? My own YouTube channel has an Excel projects playlist. So try it out with different sets of data. Do one or two uh, projects uh, that can add a lot of value. Then moving on to the second skill, which is very, very important for uh, the data field uh, that is SQL, right? So you need to start with SQL. Again, uh, I've given a link to my uh, SQL basics playlist. So over here, you can start with select where statement group by having a case statement joins unions. And then of course, once you're done with this, do some projects. My YouTube channel has some simple SQL projects. And at the same time, also learn some intermediate topics like window functions, with clause and so on, right? These are also very, very relevant. And start solving scenario questions on SQL. My YouTube channel has a scenario questions playlist as well. Apart from that, access platforms like uh, Lead Code, Hacker Rank, Data Limer to do that, right? And make sure you have one or two proper unguided projects on relevant data with SQL. This could be some Swiggy data or like some other uh, financial transaction data, but have some proper insights, right? Once you learn these two, then I think it's good to move on to data visualization. You can choose Tableau, Luca Studio or Power BI, but I think Power BI has slightly higher demand in India. And for Power BI, I recommend you to learn the basics, right? Like just like by uh, going through uh, different YouTube videos and then go to this YouTube channel, Kurbal. They have excellent videos about DAX, right? They have a lot of uh, interesting challenges also, I think with respect to DAX. Uh, if I uh, remember correctly. So 25 days of DAX Fridays, very, very specific DAX syntax question. So if you want to improve your technical knowledge of Power BI, this is like, you know, a fantastic resource. Of course, once you learn the basics, you also need to build some dashboards, right? My YouTube channel again has some Power BI tutorials and simple Power BI dashboards as well. So once you can go through them, build some simple projects. If you want to get more technical, learn a lot more DAX and this channel is a fantastic resource for sure, right? So once you learn these three, I would suggest you to already start sharing your knowledge on LinkedIn, building these projects using GitHub, right on the side. So you're already set with these three skills, Excel, SQL, and uh, data visualization. Then you can move on to the second set of skills, I would say, just a bit more step up. So first up, we have Python, right? So if you don't have any programming knowledge, learn the basics. Uh, for example, about loops, lists, and like general basic programming concepts and learn this first package, Python Pandas, which is used to do data manipulation. Learn it properly. If you have time, then move on, learn a little bit of NumPy as well and start doing some simple projects, right? Simple data manipulation using relevant data. And I think you will already be in a good start, right? You don't need to get too complicated into Python, know the basics and also know some data manipulation package like Pandas. So you can use these resources to go through, right? Once you're done with that, uh, I have a couple of extra recommendations, which is not an absolute must, but I feel like in 2025, this can make a difference. The first thing is to understand a little bit about data warehousing, data modeling, the basics and the concepts, right? And for this, again, uh, I did this Udemy course very long back. I don't remember when, but uh, you know, it's, it's up to you if you have some affordability. I think they have some offers running, but this course is fantastic. As you see, it's just five hours. You can take your time and it teaches about warehousing, you know, concepts and uh, data warehousing, you know, architecture, what is a staging layer, what is ETL extract transform load, and also a little bit about slowly changing dimensions, types of SCD, right? Sometimes in interviews for data engineers, they ask this, but as a data analyst, if you can show this knowledge, it can also be a good plus, 
right so it's a very good course to understand like fundamentals of data warehousing i strongly recommend to do something like this right on top of the technical skills similarly uh, these days cloud data warehouses have a lot of demand so you can pick anything from like the amazon or the azure stack or google right it's up to you this is another course i have uh, i mean like which is again something i did long back uh, and i felt it was quite good again if you have the affordability go ahead and learn about bigquery so this is not only going to be writing sql code in bigquery but more about what are the other things in bigquery what is pa partitioned or clustered tables and like what is views and they also have some uh, you know stuff about command line and uh, connecting your bigquery with python and so on this can get complicated this is up to you but i feel it will be a very good value add and in general to understand the gcp right google cloud platforms ecosystem uh, to answer some questions in interview or communicate it i think it can be a big plus right so as you see data warehousing basics and cloud data warehouse i think quite useful i think it can help you stand out in 2025 so once you're done with the you know other skills on top basically these four start with these two it can it can definitely help not first priority though right then again like we are in the world of ai i feel like uh, learning understanding ai use cases is also useful but remember for this you need to get somewhat comfortable with python don't jump into it if you're comfortable with python two three months you spend on doing projects manipulation then you can start learning right and again uh, this person's youtube channel is a fantastic free resource to learn about like uh, in general about building you know a agents um, chatbots and a lot of a use cases right especially after the uh, era of uh, chat gpt i think this is a very relevant course there are even videos for like natural language how do you convert that into sql so at least have a feel of this you don't need to become an expert in this obviously but having an understanding of this can give you an edge again right so as i said you do sql excel uh, data visualization start sharing on linkedin your knowledge and put your projects on github then this is section two where you do python and some data warehousing stuff and understand some ea use cases once you're done with this you need to start building out your cv resume right so there are multiple formats that are available so if you want to start building a simple uh, cv format i guess i'll recommend definitely this video right i'm putting the link there where i built a resume so definitely try to highlight the most important skills that you have on your cv on the top if it is going to be your skills and work experience highlight that if it is going to be about your education you come from a really uh, top tier college highlight that right if you are switching fields highlight your technical skills projects and how you can transfer your existing skills into the data analyst industry right keep that in mind having a strong resume also is very very important please highlight your projects if you are a fresher right this is super important and at the same time, as I mentioned, once you're done with your resume, please also look at business use cases, right? It's not only about your technical skills. It is also about how you can transfer your business understanding with your technical skills and then build like solid use cases, right? Make impact on the business. So stuff like cohort analysis, year on year growth, uh, retention analysis, right? Start understanding these things. What is A-B testing, for example, in marketing and so on. Start uh, reading a lot on the internet. And finally, as I said, social proof is really important. Please start posting on LinkedIn as soon as you have learned Excel, SQL and Power BI. Right? Don't wait. And in general, right, when you want to apply to a job, as long as you are done with Excel, SQL, Power BI and a little bit of Python and start posting on LinkedIn and have a strong resume, please start applying. These three are like just add-ons, data warehousing, cloud data warehouse or AI basics. Don't wait to complete all that before you start applying. I hope the job market improves this year and wish you all a very good year. Hope to see you again in another video. I will also attach the sheet in our description. Have a good time. See you.